Yeah, all right, today we're gonna be making beef jerky. Um, step one here is, uh, I got a 10 pound sirloin tip sitting in salt brine right now. It wasn't fully thawed, so that'll get it thawed out and uh, so we can get going. And uh, then we'll, we'll get everything set up here in a little while after that thaws out and go on to step two. Getting it sliced down and uh, oh, and then set up in its marinade. All right, we're making beef jerky, and first thing I've done is I've cut this big tip pound sirloin into four pieces. And you want to get as much of the excess fat trimmed off as possible. I'll get to that when I get down to it. And we want to cut this in about quarter inch thick pieces quarter to a third and I'll be pounding these out too and it's still a little bit frozen which makes it easier to cut uniformly now in a minute I'm going to get out my slicer and I'll do all of this the fast way I just wanted everybody to see what we're doing here all right and after I get this done and all this cut up and I'll be putting it in a marinade and then into the dehydrator so that's Part two. That's it. Should I get on the goggle glasses? <laughs> Stop me. All right, we got the whole crew working on here. So I got Sheila trimming the fat out. Say hi, Sheila. Hey. No, you're supposed to say hi, Sheila. Hi, Sheila. There you go. <laughs> She's getting all this excess fat trimmed out. All these little bits here, we don't want that in there because it can cause it to go rancid. And then Ariel is running the mesher on it tenderizing it a little bit putting some gusto in there and that's what we're up to at this point so once we get all this done then we'll put the marinade together be back all right we're working next on this is part three of making the beef jerky what we're going to do now is the marinade so over here we have all the meat that we sliced up and have pounded now what I add to it, now I have a recipe, Mike's Pepper Beef Jerky, <laughs> uh, which I loosely go by, and everybody has their own favorite type of smoke flavor, but I use uh, the smoke flavoring here, and it calls for about two tablespoons. So I'm going to call this some tablespoons. And then for a little sweetness, I don't like to add a lot of sugar. I use teriyaki. Okay. Pull the little thingy off there. There you go. About, 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 uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And we'll put a little bite into it with some lime juice. That's equal to about four tablespoons. All right, and then some mustard seed. We got here these regular mustard seeds. It's approximately a teaspoon of mustard seeds. A little bit of rice wine vinegar. Just a little bit. I use about a right at about half a tablespoon of garlic powder this is smoked salt we're going to put about hold on right at about a tablespoon of the small smoked salt in there and then this is a multi pepper it's red white and black red yellow and black pepper which I ran through the coffee grinder and made my own coarse grind pepper. I'm not going to use all of this, of course. Because we don't want to take anybody's face off. So I'm going to use like one big heaping tablespoon. I'm going to put that in there. And this is my own homemade. This is 50 pounds of tomato, or tomatoes. 50 pounds of onions, 
are in this. That's 50 pounds of onions dehydrated. <laughs> what is this wet? I'm afraid to even know. Um, I just wiped off over there. All right, so we're going to use about a tablespoon of that. Well, I see why everything's wet. There's still blood all over the counter. <laughs> all right, and then we're going to We're going to take two tablespoons of uh, raw, three tablespoons of raw cane sugar. All right. All right, now I'm going to take the camera now, and Liz is going to mix this up real good for us. I have a small cut on my hand, and I don't want to end up with a, a, a staph infection, which you can get by working with raw meat. We're going to mix that in really, really good so everything's good and coated. We've trimmed all of the fat off of this. Now, Sheila, get about a half a cup of water off of the refrigerator with the filter. Yeah, it's in there. Just keep moving it around. <laughs> It looked like a lot when I was doing it, though, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did. It smells good. And uh, so, if you want to eat it now, it's steak tartare. Right. <laughs> Say when. All right. Now hold on. Now last. Now, now we don't want it too hot, so I'm going to add about that much um, chili pepper to it. Some people might want to add chipotle to it. So, do we got any liquid in the bottom at all? Nope. Nope, no liquid. All right, add a little bit of teriyaki and a little bit of lime juice. Or here, I'll do that. Since yeah, you're... my hands are icky. Her hands are meaty. She has meaty hands. And a little bit more rice wine vinegar. There ain't much left, so we'll just put the rest of that in there. Plenty of smoke in there, so we don't need to add that. So we'll put a little bit more teriyaki in there. And then we're going to add a half a cup of filtered water. All right, mix that in real good. You know how I always said if you had a cooking show, I'd be the hands coming in from the side of the camera? You're the hands coming in from the left. Okay, what do you think? All right, now stand by, and I'm going to show you the, the last part of the smoky recipe that's my recipe. <clears throat> Sheila, take the lid off of this. All right, and this is how you get, this is about a quarter of a cup of Jim Beam. Not only does it add a little smoke and a little sweet, it also adds a little alcohol to kill any germs because you've been working with this meat, cutting it up, stuff like that for the last, I don't know, two hours. All right, and now that should do the job. Now press it down tight in the bowl. Okay. And level. And we're gonna take a plate Take a plate and we're going to put it on top and we're just going to set it in the fridge and let it marinate for an hour. Now I'm going to have to do this in two parts because that will fill my dehydrator up twice. So anyway, there you go. That's part three, making some jerky. All right, Sheila is helping me out. This is the next step in making beef jerky. All right, so what we have is my dehydrator trays that are set out here. And we're going to take each of these slices of meat and we're going to lay them out on the tray. 
and it's really important that you have some a little airspace in your tray. You know, I use an ambassador um, dehydrator. There are different types of dehydrators. Um, yeah, just keep them close because we want to get as much in there as we can, but we just need a little bit of airspace okay. so that this it, the air can move around. And when you get little bits, you can always move them into different spaces. Yeah, when you get yeah, you, when you get little tiny bits, just put them in there, and we got some we got some spots down here. Oh, by the way, say hi, Sheila. This is my sister-in-law, Sheila. She's helping me out today. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> All right. Okay, we can't let it. We got to be careful. Can't let the meat touch because we need we need that uh, space for the air to move around. Kind of like building a puzzle, ain't it? Actually, take this. That's perfect. Take this, and we'll put it right up in there. See? You know, basically, you're building a meat puzzle. <laughs> I know this is driving my cats nuts. <laughs> I gotta dig around and buy some smaller pieces now. <laughs> damn near full I mean do we got anything we can fit in there a little tiny piece or something anywhere all right now we have the last step where did it go where'd that uh, Montreal steak seasoning I had all right so um, where did it go Sheila got my giant spice cabinet <laughs> I, I had it out a minute ago. Oh, all right. All right, this is this is a personal preference. Uh, you're probably gonna have to open it up and take off the seal. There you go. All right, we're gonna give this a good, you give it a good liberal sprinkle all over everything. Get that one. All right, so there you go. And this is put out by uh, Grill Masters or McCormick, uh, just Montreal steak, the non-spicy type. And we'll just give it a good shake, and there we go. And then we're gonna run it over and put it into the processor, or the dehydrator. And we're gonna do that uh, 12 more times. And we will be back. All right, we got a little more light in the kitchen. We tried to do this earlier and it didn't work out so well. So, beef jerky is done. Over here in light where we can see it. All right, so. It's perfect. You want it so it cracks when you bend it, but it doesn't break if it just snaps off. I mean, some pieces will because they were really thin like that, but the bigger pieces are just perfect. Now I'll be breaking this up a bit when I store it. 
but uh, was in there all night. Got up at about 3 a.m. and rotated the trays, so we got it even dry on everything. And in a little while, I'll be breaking those up and uh, um, uh, putting them in uh, vacuum pack, probably in jars. I'll probably just vacuum pack them in jars. Um, sometimes. I don't know why this does this around and it just goes uh, out of focus. Alright, anyway, so I'll vacuum pack those in jars and put them up. And that's the gist of that. Thanks much.